Hiya Taurus, welcome to Healing with Aish. I am your tarot reader. Um, if you have Taurus in your sun, moon, Venus, or even in your vi uh, rising, then this video could resonate for you. There could be a message in here for you. Please like, share, and subscribe so that I am able to reach other, um, you know, Tauruses like yourself, just in case there may be a message in there for them to contribute towards your healing. So I have pre-shuffled already the cards and I have already cleansed the energy. I have cleansed the cards, cleansed my energy and cleansed the space. Um, but let's get started. Let's jump straight in. Which, okay, I'm gonna use this tarot deck. Also, if you would like to book me for a personal, then please have a look in the bio. If you would like a personal reading, I accept donations. Um, so please have a look and you can drop me an email if you would like a personal reading. So Spirit, what messages do you have for Taurus? What is the current energy for Taurus? Let us know the current energy for my lovely Taurus. Show me the current energy at the moment for my lovely Tauruses. I'm just giving it another shuffle. I've already pre-shuffled, but there's no harm in giving it another shuffle. Okay. Let's pull some cards for you. So the first one I have, I just want you to see is the three of wands as you can see let's pull some more okay okay so the first card i have was the three of wands then i had the ace of pentacles just to show you what that looks like so um it was in the reverse so i have the ace of pentacles in the reverse i also have the ten of swords as well which is also um in reverse so it came out like this and we also have a major arcana we have the sun as you can see you have the sun which came up in the upright um which is excellent so just to have a look at that three of um wands which was the first card that I pulled out. So I can see that you're going through a new beginning, a new excellent beginning. You've closed out a cycle and you are about to walk upon a new journey of yours. So this is a wonderful card for travel. A lot of you may be having traveling plans at the moment or getting ready to travel or thinking about traveling. Um, this is also very good for any artistic pursuit. So if you have any creative um, ventures that you would have thinking about or new businesses, this is definitely a time for you to start, you know, putting those ideas into practice, writing them down, writing a business plan, really starting to think about um, your future here. You know, thinking about what's what you're passionate about. So, um, you know, money's also coming your way. Excellent, Taurus. Money is coming your way. You are an earth sign. You are um, very stable. You love feeling stable. You love being able to, um, you know, look after yourself financially. You love that feeling of being secure. So this is excellent, an excellent card for you um, just to help you be feel more confident and more creative as you uh, uh, go upon this new journey of yours, which is excellent. I did have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, which tells me that you may possibly um, have had some, you know, just worrying about money. So, you know, there could have been a situation here where you may have been in a relationship, take this how it resonates for you, may have been in a relationship um, in regards to material gain, money. So a relationship where there's money but no love. Hmm. 
you also got the 10 of swords, which was in reverse, which lets me know that there was something that you have overcome, which makes sense as you had the three of wands because you're starting on this new journey. A lot of you are thinking about traveling, moving away. So you've moved away from something, something that you wasn't happy in. This is what I'm picking up for you. Hmm. This could have been from your own making, though. The situation that you was in previously could have been from your own making. Possibly. Possibly. I just want to show you these cards just so you can see them. But then you have the sun. So whatever you're doing now is making you happy. You're focusing on you. You're feeling enlightened. You have these new ideas. You are feeling brand new. This is a new cycle. It's a new journey for you. You're happy. Let's find out some more. Oh, okay. What was that? Mm, bear with me just a second. Oh, the seven of cups. So weighing up your options. That was at the bottom of the deck. Nine of swords. Okay, so there was a tower. Okay, let's pull some cards. Let's... Tell me more, please, spirit. Tell me more about um, this ace of pentacles in reverse. Tell me more about this ace of pentacles in reverse, please, spirit. Can you see these? Better. Tell me more about this Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Tell me more about this Ace of Pentacles in reverse for Taurus. Tell me more about this Ace of Pentacles in reverse for Taurus. Ace of Cups. Ten of Wands, it was a burden. You used your intuition. You used your intuition and you moved forward. Someone could have possibly, possibly been trying to make you stuck, keep you stuck in a situation. Somebody that you was in a relationship with. It was like no matter how hard you tried... It was stressful. It was a difficult situation that you was in. It was felt like you was wasting your energy. This previous relationship, this could have been a relationship. This could have been a friendship. This could have been a relationship. This could have been a friendship. But whatever you was in in the past, had you feeling stuck? Like I said, you possibly could have been in a relationship out of material gain. You're moving away. You want a brand new beginning. And that's exactly what you're doing. This 10 of wands, it was a burden. Whatever this was in the past, it was an absolute burn, burden. This person could have possibly been a money drain. Maybe, um, I don't know why I'm getting this, but baby mama drama <laughs> for my masculines or even for my females. So, you know, I'm getting child support. Somebody was a money drain. Somebody in your energy wasn't very good with money. It was a, you was in a relationship because you felt like you needed to provide. But there was no love here. There was no love here. This was a burden and you was fed up. You walked away and you, you started speaking to your, your guides, spirit, listening to your intuition. And you, you did what was best for you. You saved your energy, saved your strength, and it's time for something new. Beautiful energy. I love this. I love this. I love the confidence. I love this. I love this, Taurus. What else can you tell me about this, Spirit? What else can you tell me about this, Spirit? What else can you tell me about this, Spirit? 
else can you tell me every monday um i will be doing a reading for you torah so um come back here every monday um if you would like to see what comes out in the car see if there's any messages here for you and also check out the other videos if you have any other placements to see if anything else resonates if this video doesn't resonate for you but i can see that you've been making big moves massive moves big moves you're using your intuition a lot of wands energy which shows me that nothing's holding you back you're you're passionate you're passionate about this new beginning whether it's you're going to travel you're thinking of traveling um whatever that might be for you i've got the five of pentacles nice it came out just to show you what else spirit what else do you have for my Taurus? What else do you have? So this is good. This is your energy. Five of Pentacles. Staying grounded. Staying grounded. You're being quite stubborn. Well, that would make sense. <laughs> you are the bull. That would make sense. Ooh, what have we got? Strength. Ah, look at that. Strength. Did I not say you're standing in your power? You're standing strong. Nothing is changing your mind. You're moving forward. Whatever you were situation you was in before, this was not serving you. Knight of Cups in reverse. You're not offering your cup. You're not offering your cup. You're either not offering your cup to nobody right now. You're not even focused on love right now. Or there was somebody in your energy that was not fulfilling you in the in an emotional way what else spirit give us one more card please give us one more card. there we go lovely six of swords in reverse let me just show you that six of swords in reverse so you had the five of pentacles that just came out for more clarification and <laughs> Five of Pentacles talks about poverty, you know, talk about worrying, worrying about money, you know, negative thoughts when it comes to money. So it's actually with this card, it talks more about the feeling of loss than actual loss. So I don't believe you may. OK, yeah, you may have lost a bit of a bit of money, but you're making it back. You, you know how to make that's nothing to you. But whatever this was, this was underneath this Ace of Cups. So this relationship, whatever this was, this gave you anxiety. As I said, this was about money. This relationship became about money. I don't believe at the beginning it was about money, but towards the end, it definitely became about money. This person that you're dealing with was a money strain drain. You took your power back in this situation. The Ten of Wands, look at them. Look at this card. She's walking away. Bags are packed. She's gone. She's out. She's not having it anymore. On top of that was the strength card. You're not having that anymore. You used your intuition. You saw what was going on around you. You took that advice from spirit and you said, all right, cool. You can't offer me this cup of love. If this is what you're offering in reverse and night in reverse. So somebody that's immature, somebody that possibly tells you they're going to do something, but they don't full of lies and you said this is not for me and then i've got the six um i've got the six of swords underneath the seven of wands and this was in the reverse so it's just says so stubbornness you felt stagnant you may have felt that you had missed opportunities while you was in this situation You saw with your ace of ace of wands within your intuition, you understood that the only way forward, the only way forward was for you to give this up. And this could have been a relationship. I mean, some of you, I'm getting a relationship. Others of you, this could have simply have been a job. Something was a money drain. It could have been a friend. But a lot of this, I'm getting it, it was a relationship, a romantic partner. There was no love here. It was all money. You're taking a new step. You've got the page of wands. You're freeing yourself. 
You've got the Queen of Pentacles. You're keeping your money. This is your money. You're not, you're not giving anymore where it's not being received. You're not planting. You've then got the Seven of Pentacles. In reverse, it wasn't growing. It wasn't growing. It, it, it should be, you know, look at this plant putting all that energy and it blossoms. It was in a reverse. This wasn't growing. This wasn't growing at all. You wasn't seeing the fruits of your labor. This wasn't the 10 of cups. The emperor is in, is in reverse. So you could have been dealing with a masculine um, or it could have been a female in, in her masculine energy that was very manipulative, very controlling. King of swords, very sharp with their words. Always trying to keep you in a state of confusion. Doesn't want you to be free. Didn't like you going out. Didn't like you being with your friends. Was very provocative. Very good in the bedroom. But that's all it was. You needed to balance this situation out. There was, It was all about money. Hoping and waiting for, for things to change. For things to get better. But they didn't. You had to use your intuition. Queen of Swords. You could have been dealing with an air sign. We could have also dealt with a fire sign. Who, what else have we got here? Yeah. Okay. So, spirit. Ooh. Okay, we've got the Knight of Cups came out again. Again. We've got the Knight of Cups again in reverse. So, that's two now that we have. Which so I can show you. That's two now that we have. Knight of Cups in reverse. This wasn't going anywhere. This wasn't going anywhere. Knight of Cups in reverse twice, twice, twice. So deception. You know, this person, like I said, may have been promising things for, to change. Things were going to change. Things were going to get better, but they never did. You know, you was let down, let down badly, as I said, in a relationship that just seemed like it was a money drain. It was all about the materialistic things. Where was the love? Where is the love? This could have also been a family member. This you could also be deciding to, you know, focus on yourself. And this could have easily have also been a, um, a family member. You've got the four that came out in reverse. They didn't want you to take a leap of faith on yourself. Because they wanted this money. Whatever you brought to the table, this was benefiting them. But they weren't good with money. They couldn't save. They couldn't put things away. Instead, it made you feel anxious, made you worry about money all the time. Why are you worrying about money? You're making the money and you're losing it. This person let you down. And now you started a new cycle. We've got the death card here. Rebirth. Beautiful. You've got the Hierophant. Next. Spirit stepped in. You've also got the moon. Using your intuition. Aren't the, you're fed up. You're fed up of, of worrying, anxiety, not being able to sleep. A lot of you may, um, sleeping pattern may have been, um, may have been messed up for a little while not being able to sleep or sleeping in the day not sleeping at night you can also see that there's a spiritual wealth um spiritual war going on look at all of those black crows and then look at that beautiful white bird of that beautiful angel in no comparison to that one bird boom get out of here causing you negativity, causing you to doubt yourself. A tower came down. You're sick of hanging around. You're sick of being an option. You need to, to think about your options. You need to make the best decision for yourself and that's exactly what you've done. Weighing out your options. What's the best decision for myself? Justice with cord. You changed the cycle. You started to heal. Started to heal. Childhood um, hood wounds. Doing things, you know, looking after that inner, that inner you again. Doing things that you used to like. Looking after that inner child within yourself. You could have also known this person um, for a very long time. You could have also, that's why I said they could also have been a family member or a long-time friend. You could have known this person for a very long time. But they cause burdens. Seven of Swords, you're walking away. You're tired. You're researching. You're looking for new ideas, creative aspects, new business ventures, looking to travel. You're balancing yourself out. I've got the temperance here. 
You're, and you're taking your love back. You want love, two of cups. You want real love. You want real love. But not love. We've got the devil that came out next. Not love that has that's toxic. You don't want toxic connections. You want something that's pure. You don't want somebody that has you waiting around. Somebody that keeps you stuck, keeps you in confusion. Like I said, doesn't, didn't, this person was incredibly jealous. Didn't like you really going out, hanging out with your friends. You know, they was incredibly insecure. They find you incredibly sexy. Constantly causing fights and arguments. And they had nothing to offer. They didn't, this person could have been unemployed or didn't, or you made more than they did. But you're using your intuition. Three of swords. You know, it's a bit of heartbreak. Yeah, it does hurt. Of course it hurts. Of course it hurts. This person could have also uh, wanted to get you pregnant. If this is a female and if you're in childbearing ages, this person could have also wanted to get you pregnant or tried to get you pregnant. Or you could have been pregnant for whoever this resonates with. You could have been pregnant. Um, and suffered a lot a loss here. So I'm sorry to anyone if that resonates with anyone. You could have had a miscarriage or... Uh, you could have had an abortion. Yeah. I'm sorry to anyone. Um, or this could have just been somebody that wanted to have a child with you. Or you may have wanted to have a child with this person. But take it how it resonates for you. I've also got the eight of wands here. You've got many options, Taurus. A lot of suitors, a lot of people are after you. A lot of, if you're male, a lot of females are looking at you. You're looking great right now. You're standing in your strength. The strength card comes out the second time. You're manifesting. I got the magician. You're manifesting. You're balancing yourself out. Two of pentacles. You're, you're manifesting. You're moving forward. Beautiful energy. Beautiful energy. What do we have for love? What do we have for love for Taurus? What do we have so we can close this out for Taurus? Because, <laughs> Taurus, you're doing amazing. Seven of Swords wanted to pop out. So right now, I just don't think you're even focused on love. But what do we have come in for new love? What about new love for Taurus? New love, new love. Taurus, you're not really focused on love right now. I'm hearing, I just want to catch flights, baby, not feelings. <laughs> I don't blame you. I, oh, like, like I said, catch flights, not feelings. Look at that, Queen of Swords came out. Catch flights, not seeing. You're using your intuition. You're not letting anything cross your path. As soon as you see a red flag, look at that red flag in the back. You're giving somebody one chance, not two. You're not even allowing them to get to that second, that second pole of those two flags at the back. You're using your intuition. As soon as you see something that's off, as soon as you see something you don't like, buy. You're not having it, but you've got a lot of options. Hey, a lot of people are keeping up. They're looking at you. They're watching you. You're looking pretty good right now, Taurus. You're looking pretty good. A lot of you are still in this relationship. A lot of you are still in this relationship.